but oh my god it's so weird to be talking on camera right now because I felt like I haven't posted a video in a really long time or beauty related video at least but um so February is <laughs> almost over I can't believe that I know it's a really short month but still it it didn't even feel like February to me it felt so much longer than that but um as you all can see I ombreed my hair and uh this is the second time I ombre it. The first time was uh, professionally done, and that was about three weeks ago. And then I did this probably about five days ago, and I did it myself the second time because I feel like if you know the hairstylist can get my hair to look like that the first time, maybe I can just carry it on and just keep bleaching it the second time. And I really love it. I love the way it turns out. Um, it does have blonde in it, and my hair is still in one piece. I don't know how, but it is. But, um, it's okay, so I'm going to show you guys my favorites, and so let me just show you guys. Let's so start with the face, like I always do. Um, this is my absolute favorite Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is probably my third tube, and because of this, my skin looks the way it does. Like, it, it's not drying, and when I do have dry patches, all I would do is just put this on, and it just soaks in immediately, and it doesn't, it doesn't give me, like, um... A greasy feel or anything and it just soaks in and it just absorbs very 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 well and so along with that I would pair it with my studio gear matte studio matte foundation I have it in praline and I bought this in the summer so you know look like it's totally totally dark great right? but the only reason why I can pull this off is when I mix these two together now what it, like you guys think of like it makes it like a tinted moisturizer but however it gives very good coverage on top of that I put powder on top so it just looks on point and uh, for concealer I've been using this for the longest and I still have a lot of this like this is almost a full tube you can tell where I kind of used it a little bit but it's a glamouflage by hard candy this is in medium they came out with new shades because I went to Walmart and I was gonna look at their stuff and they have medium tan medium light so um, I know before they all had like three shades light medium and dark so yeah I don't know if they, if they have dark or not but I know they got new shades now so this is only six dollars and I have it on today right here underneath my eyes and oh I have falsies on well like mess um what is it not mascara it's uh eyelashes so um I don't know how I feel about them I mean right now they feel really really light but um whatever you know and uh, this is only six dollars I really like it because it covers up so well and a lot of the girls that work they use this to cover up their tattoos because you know you're not supposed to have tattoos visible but um and it works really really well and it's heavy duty so definitely check this out the elf high definition powder a lot of people don't like this because it gives them a white cast which is true it does give you a white cast but as you can see I love to mix things if you mix your loose powder and you mix this together it eliminates the white cast I mean you're still gonna have a little bit of it when you take flash photos but um, it eliminates majority of it so what I would do if I would mix these two together and I would put it all over my face and um, this is only six dollars and I love this I would use this underneath my eyes so that's what I have on today um, over that Glamouflage concealer and oh my god it looks so good I love it and then for the face I've been using my NYX matte powder bron bronzer a lot and this however does have like a I don't know if you can tell um like an orange tint to it I, I did kind of try to do that today I don't know if you can tell that like it's a little bit brighter right here and then I contoured very very heavily and then it's a little brighter right here and then I kind of um contour here and highlighted here here in the bridge of my nose so I didn't use like crazy crazy products but like that's how my face like I'm very content with how it looks right now and yeah so this is awesome this is in deep tan and it's just super, super chocolatey. For highlight, I use my MAC Life Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. As you can see, I made a little dent in it. Um, I use this whenever I want the natural look, just because I feel like this glows and glistens on your face so beautifully. So I love this. And if I run out of this, would I repurchase this? Uh, I don't think I would because it's like 30 something dollars. So um, I can find substitutes for this, but just because I was obsessed with it at one point, I did splurge. But um, yeah, it's a really good product. I love it if I have it. But okay, so let's move on to the eyes. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys my all-time favorite mascaras, okay? Like, look at this. And then these are the two new ones, and these are the old ones. I kept these and I was about to throw them away last night, but I wanted to show you guys how much I love them. And this 
is nothing because I got three more tubes before this, you know? And uh, this is probably my six mascaras from this line and it's the one by one volume express and the Maybelline falsies I use the black drama and the flare um, just because I mean I think they work the same I can kind of say that I do like the flare a lot better I think because it's a little bit thinner um, but the black drama is really thick and it's lace so here let me toss these out and let me these are the new ones and I really like them because the, I have very thin lashes. If you have super thin lashes like me and they have no volume, no length or whatsoever, um, definitely use the falsies for volume because the consistency is so thick that it adds like a base and then when you put the uh, one by one on, it since the brush is super, super like spiked, it carries the base up to your lashes so it won't weigh it down so um, I really like these two together and uh, I've been using this for over like two years now and I absolutely love it I wouldn't trade it for the world maybe I would but um, it's really good so and then my favorite eye primer is the elf eyelid primer I used to use the Urban Decay and the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, but those are really expensive. And this is only a dollar, and this is what I have on today. And it literally makes my eyeshadow stays on all day. Um, I don't mind purchasing this for a dollar because it's so cheap, and you can't go wrong with it. So, and it's it's easy to get your hands on because it is at Target. So, I absolutely love this. However, I wish the packaging was a little bit if it had more products because I go through this really really fast, considering that I use this every single day. And then, on top of that, my favorite eyeshadow is Espresso by MAC. I wear this every day, even if I'm wearing it on like a pink eyeshadow makeup look, I always have to have this in the transition color, which I have on today, and it works so well in the crease. It just blends beautifully, and it it just looks good, like even on its own or paired up with another color. So, it's a matte finish, and I will definitely be repurching this when I hit pan, which I already have, but still. I will be buying that again and then the super skinny marker by uh, NYX this is like seven dollars at Ulta but for some reason they have this at PacSun for nine dollars I don't have an Ulta near me so I bought it for nine dollars at PacSun so um, I have this on today as well and it's so easy to do a wing eye because it the brush is super super thin it looks like that so yeah and it's a felt tip applicator and it just works very well I've had this since probably like three months four months now and it has not dried up on me surprisingly so um yeah we'll be repurchasing that as well and then the mask no what is it for my eyebrows um i use the prestige eyeliner this is in black brown um just because it says eyeliner you don't have to use it for eyeliner um i use it for my eyebrows because I don't know, my eyebrows are very um, light and because my hair is kind of like brownish black, it's kind of hard to match if I want to go brown with my eyes, with my eyebrush, with my eyebrow, if I want to go brown with my eyebrows, <laughs> shut up, <laughs> if I want to go brown with my eyebrows or if I want to go like black, shut up. So I use this and this works very well. So that's what I have on today. I don't put gel or anything on top of it because I don't want it to look like it's plastered to my face. I'm gonna exit this video, so stop laughing. Oh my God, I have three more products to show. Holy cow, I totally forgot about that. Okay, if you guys have dandruff, um, use... <laughs> Shut up. If you guys have dandruff, which I do because I have really dry scalp, um, I use this Nourish and Dandruff Control by Aveeno, and this works very well. Ever since I've been using this, I haven't, I haven't noticed anything flaky on my hair or anything, and I use olive oil on my head too, so that probably helps it. But um, then I use this Strength Conditioner, and as you know, that I like Aveeno products, and these are awesome. I even have like their body washes and everything, so um, definitely check this out if you have dandruff, because I don't like using the heads and shoulder because I feel like because it has sulfate in it, it's just harsh on my hair. And, um, and Aveeno, I trust Aveeno more than I would ever trust heads and shoulders. But, yeah, love this. Definitely check that out. Me. So, yeah, that's all, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. So be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comment, leave them down below. And I'll try my best to answer them. So, bye, guys. Oh, like this video if you want to see a video of how to ombre my hair or hair care or ombre from black hair to this. Bye.